And that's all from us for now. I'll be back with another update at around half past one. Until then, have a lovely day. Bye-bye. Welcome back. Nine minutes past nine. Now, there were many kinds of heroes during the pandemic, weren't there? Not all of them were human. There's a clue. Yeah, this is Max, Springer Spaniel, who won millions of fans for his Lake District walks, which were filmed and posted online, giving a much needed boost to people stuck inside, as well as raising funds for various good causes. We all love Max, yes. didn't we? Now, sadly, he died last year, but now his owner has introduced a new member to the pack. He's a poppy called Tally. He's already following in Max's poor steps. And Alison Freeman has the tail. <laughs> Tally's walked into our lives and just taken over. It feels like he's been here for five years already and he's been here like three weeks. Meet Tally, the latest addition to Kerry Irving's pack. It's been more than a year since his first dog, Max, known as the Miracle Dog, passed away. He and his companions, Paddy and Harry, were watched by millions when his owner, Kerry, streamed their daily walks online. Kerry crediting Max with saving his life when he suffered from severe depression. When we lost Max, I, I honestly didn't think I'd be able to face the world again because everywhere you go, there's a memory of Max. But when I look around these hills, every hill has got a story behind it of when I walked with Max. And every memory is a good memory. There's no bad memories. You have to be positive about things like this and just think, well, what a great life he had and what a life he gave me. And that's what Max did for a lot of people. He gave them the inspiration to go outdoors. And I think this day and age, we need to do that, you know, for mental health, for just to give yourself some time to, to think about good things. And dogs do that. Look at that. <laughs> we knew, we knew. Whilst people were stuck at home during the pandemic, their following grew, as did Max's role of getting people to talk about their mental health. The response that we get from people even now, um, how much we help them through that dark time, and are still helping people through dark times. You have a sense of pride with that, and also a great deal of emotion, uh, and it's all down, obviously, to Max. And we can continue to do that through Tally, Harry, Paddy, and just continue that legacy. She's got big, big paw prints to fill, this young man. He has, but he'll do it. I know he'll do it. He's a very special little chap. He's got a great character. He's very biddable, and he's got extremely sharp teeth. He seems to like me, which is another bone. <laughs> uh, I'm a bit worried about that. Max's followers have also helped to raise more than £700,000 for charity, including 200000 for the Great North Air Ambulance, enabling them to buy critical care vehicles, taking their operation 24-7. And at just over 11 weeks old, Tally's first outing was to visit the statue of Max, put up to honour his work in Hope Park in Keswick. Who's this? Tally? Who's this? Hey, look at that. The main thing was to introduce him to the, the dog that started it all. Uh, he just licked Max's face, the statue's face. It was incredibly emotional, to be honest, to see him do that. You can, you can picture it, I can picture it in my head, him actually being with Max and Max being there saying, you're all right, you're on the team. How does that make you feel? Good. He's lifted my spirits um, immensely. Uh, since losing Max, but if you can give commitment, a lifelong commitment to a dog and give it the best life you can, the reward that you would get back from that dog is just the greatest feeling in the world. And that's why we do it. <laughs> Alison Freeman, BBC News, The Lake District. Tally got a bit tired there, just needed a little bit of help at the end on that walk. I know how he feels. It's only little, yeah, me too. I know how he feels. <laughs> well done. Yeah, well done. You, uh, <laughs> thank you for joining us this morning. Thanks for your lovely messages about our new sofa and our new studio. We will welcome you back here, as ever, uh, tomorrow morning from six o'clock. Now on BBC One, it's time for Morning Live with Michelle.